Hello, you robotic little cocktail cherries, and welcome to another episode of Homeschooling with the Nincompoops. Yay! My name is Professor Andy Stanton, and I am so intelligent that I once challenged a game of chess to a game of chess. Yeah, that's right. I actually challenged chess itself to chess, and I beat chess at chess. Which may not have happened. I can't remember. It might have just been a dream. But if it did happen, amazing. And if it was just a dream, still a good dream. And I'm here today to help you get more intelligent by helping you to learn words from the English language. Now, the book with all the words in the English language is this fellow. It is called a Narakshadoni. The Narakshadoni contains all the words in the English language. So I'm going to open it at random. Not even going to look at all. Zippity, 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 zippity. Let's go at random. Oh, it's going near the end. The end of the English language. Near the end. Let's have a look. Today's word is, it's not that near the end, tape. Tape. Now, you might not know this because you are only small children. And today, when you want to record things, all you do is you just turn on your iPad and you go press record and it presses record. Or you turn on your phone and you go press record and you start recording things. Or you turn on your toaster and press, press record and you start recording your bread, don't you? And then once you've recorded your bread, you can play back your bread. And then you can put a filter on your bread to make it browner and to make it a bit hotter, put a hot filter on. And you've recorded the bread and turned it into toast. But when I was a small child, and I was a young lady, uh, we did not have all of these modern ways of recording things that we have today. Back in the old days, we had to use tape. Tape was what you would record things on. If you wanted to record your voice, you would have to get some sellotape, and you would have to stretch out the sellotape, and then you would have to speak very loudly onto the tape and go, Hello, my name is Andy Stanton, and I am recording on this tape. And then do a bit more tape and go, I am now going to sing it. Right, and then... You would record on the sellotape and you would cut off the sellotape at the end. And then if you wanted to play back the tape so someone else could hear it, you would have to wrap the tape around someone's ears. And then they could hear the words that you'd recorded onto the tape, which was incredible, right? Now, also, sometimes you wanted to make a recording of a song to send to your friends. Uh, so you go, oh, like, for instance, if you had a crush on a girl named Nina, let's just say... Not just not saying it happened. Let's just say there was a nice girl called Nina, lived down the road from you. Not saying it happened. Let's just say she was a nice girl with brown hair. I'm not saying it really happened, but let's just say you really fancied her. And uh, let's just say you're about 15 and she was about 15 and you really wanted to ask her out, but you were a bit shy. Not saying it really happened, but let's just say she had a big boyfriend called Gary. And he's like this. And you're a bit scared of Gary. Oh no, I wish Gary and Nina weren't together. Gary's like, oh. If I ever see you coming near Nina Stanton, I'm going to smash you up. Not saying it happened, and let's just say like you thought, oh, maybe Gary's not the right guy for her. Nina and Gary are together, let's just say you felt, I'm not saying it happened. You're blushing, I'm not blushing, you're blushing. Oh, shut up! Not saying it happened. Let's just say you wanted to ask Nina out. I'm not saying it happened. I'm not saying, but let's just say you wanted to ask Nina out. And you think, oh, mate, her a tape. I will make her a tape and you get the sellotape and you start re and you hold it up to the radio to record your favourite song and it's a love song and the love song goes I love you so much I don't think you're with the right guy I don't think you're with the right guy at all I think you should be with someone else which is a lovely hit single of that time and you record the song onto the tape by holding the tape really close to the radio and then, not saying it happened, but then you send the tape to Nina, yeah? You send the tape to Nina and you think, oh brilliant, she'll play that and then she'll realise that I'm in love with her. But unfortunately, Gary gets the tape. Gary's round to her house and when it comes through the letterbox, he picks up the solid tape and goes, oh, what's this? Someone sent Nina a tape. And he puts it around his face and he hears this song. I love you so much, I don't think you're with the right guy. Oh, it's Stanton. It's Stanton trying to steal Nina off me. And then Gary comes marching round to my house and he smashes the door down. He's so strong, he smashes it down just by looking at it with his fists. And the door goes, Pow! 
explodes off. He rumbles upstairs. He knows where, I, where my room is, upstairs. He rumbles into my room. He grabs me like this and he goes, I, Stanton, did you send Nina a tape that goes, I love you so much? And I go, no, no, I don't think so. That must have been someone else. And he goes, you're lying to me. And then he goes, no, 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 no. You're lying to me. And then do you know what he does? He gets my cellar tape and he wraps it all around me so I can't move. And that's another thing you can do with tape. You can tie people up. He ties me up like that and he leaves me there. And I'm going to tell you a true fact now. That happened when I was 15. He tied me up and I couldn't break out of that cellar tape for another 17 years. So there you go. I was tied up for 17 years and it was only when I was 32 that I finally managed to escape by realising that I could just escape if I tried hard enough. So there we have it. Tape. That's what we use to record. But nowadays... It's much better that we just use mobile phones and stuff instead because it saves a lot of time because you can't tie somebody up with a mobile phone. It just doesn't work. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, next time, my colleague, Dr. Carrie Quinlan, will be back to teach you about another word. And also check out our podcast, Ask the Nincompoops, because it's really funny and you might enjoy it with your faces. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Bye! <laughs>